So are you needing to separate particles in a very precise way? Then test sieves are probably what you're looking for. I'll tell you everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi, I'm Candace Blaker and I'm the Product Manager for Particle Analysis here at WS Tyler. Particle analysis is a very important factor in almost every industry, from pharmaceuticals to agriculture to gas and oil and many more. And one of the most common tools used in particle analysis is the test sieve. Here at WS Tyler, we have over 100 years of experience in particle analysis and we're in fact one of the very first companies to manufacture them in the world. We started in 1910 and have been around ever since. We're here to help you through all of your particle analysis needs. So in this video, we'll go over what a test sieve is, the types of test sieves, their components, cost, the test sieve standards, and test sieve certification. A test sieve is a screening medium with openings of uniform size and shape mounted onto a rigid frame. Basically, it's a tool that uses metal cloth with holes in it to separate smaller particles from larger ones. The metal cloth that separates the particles comes in a round metal frame, which comes in many different sizes and specs. You can use test sieves individually, or what's more typical, is stacking them into a sieve shaker to perform a more efficient and more repeatable particle analysis test, like in our Rotap series of shakers. There are two types of sieves dry test sieves, and wet wash test sieves. Dry test sieves are used when the particles are free flowing and can pass through openings with just a shaking or a tapping motion. Wet wash test sieves are used when water needs to be added to the sample to get the particles to pass through the sieve openings. So for example, wet wash sieving is used quite a bit in the aggregate industry. Clay and silt sticks to the outside of the larger rocks, which makes them unable to get a good separation and pass through the mesh. By adding water to the sieving process, the dirt and silt are cleaned off of the outside of the rocks, allowing them to be measured properly. The mesh is the most technical and most important part of a test sieve. The most commonly used types of mesh is stainless steel or brass woven wire mesh. The opening sizes range from a four inch opening all the way down to a 635 mesh, or in other words, 100 millimeters down to 20 microns. The frame is usually a round metal circle that holds the mesh in place. The standard frame sizes in the U.S. are 3 inch, 8 inch, and 12 inch. Internationally, 200 millimeter and 300 millimeter are the standard sizes. Some frames can be made out of stainless steel, brass, or even wood. Honestly, it depends on the test sieve. There are hundreds of different sieves you can buy with all kinds of combinations of alloys and mesh types. But to give you an example of the range of prices, let's say you want a 100 mesh in an 8 inch stainless steel frame and stainless steel mesh. That sieve will cost you just about $87. But if you want a 100 mesh in an 8 inch brass frame with brass mesh, that gets you to around $74. As a general rule, if the mesh count is higher, then the weaving process becomes a longer and more intense process, which affects the price. Let's say you want a stainless steel 635 mesh sieve in an 8-inch frame. The price of that test sieve will be about $619. Test sieve standards relate to the construction of the sieve itself, as well as the performance of the test sieve. Every industry is different, which means that there are many different sieve standards out there. Your industry standards will tell you the required mesh size, how many test sieves you need, how much of a sample to use, if a sieve shaker is needed, how long you need to run your sample for, and whether or not you need your sieve certified or calibrated. There are two types of standards that are most commonly used in the world, ISO 3310-1 and ASTM E11. Typically, ISO standards are international standards, and ASTM are the North American equivalents. Sometimes your industry standards will require you to have your test sieve certified or calibrated. This means your industry requires you have to have documented proof that your sieves meet your ISO or ASTM specifications. Basically, your test sieve is run through a machine that verifies the size of the openings. Your sieves are returned to you with a document that confirms your sieve is compliant to whatever the required specifications are. These documents are NIST traceable. Certification can be done on a brand new test sieve before it's used. After your test sieves have been in use in the lab for a while, they can become stretched or damaged and should be sent back in to be recertified. This ensures that your test sieves are always performing at their best. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific requests. Just click on the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time.
And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Candace Blaker, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.